Hello. Some much cooler air is spreading across the country, and maybe some of you have already seen it, maybe some of you have already felt it. You've stepped outside and gone, oh, wow, this is summer. Some spots you barely manage 10 degrees, if you can believe it, for the afternoon highs. Struggling, to say the least, because of the cooler southwesterlies. The speckle of cloud, that's always a hint as well, when you can tell you've got cooler air moving over warmer sea, and it's like porridge going boom, 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 bubbling away. That is it. And this one particular lump is one last piece of energy. It'll just work its way in, bring some heavy squally showers. What is our first front? That lump of cloud there that's gone away but this whole flow is going to spread across the country and make all of us probably by tomorrow go oh wow it's a different feel so that front there there's the last little uh, piece of energy that'll rotate in those showers strong winds too so watch out for those across some central areas in particular central Hawke's Bay towards the Taro district literally between Napier and Ekaterhuna, wind gusts to 120 as you go through the night into early Friday. And would you believe it, road snowfall warnings, Milford Road, Linders Pass, above seven or 800 metres, a couple of centimetres if you are travelling over those tonight. So here it comes. First front, the blue is the wet weather, spreading its way in. That'll be some thunder as well. That, as it moves north to the north, and peters out a bit. And notice down south, much colder air sitting in place. As you've seen, some of those mountains could be covered in snow in some spots above six or 700 metres. Meters, and three degrees will be the number that greets you in Queenstown as you step out in the morning and go, wow, yeah. Further north, you've still got the oranges, 17s and 14s, but you'll be getting the cooler air too. Watch the front. There it goes. So we all then go into the southwest, and it's like opening the floodgates, and boom, here it goes, cooling everyone down. There will still be a few showers peppering the east coast, and I wouldn't be surprised, even over parts of the north island, showers to start your day, but improving as high pressure out to the west builds in and opens the accordion, a very tight squeeze is the isobars, and the winds start to ease their way down. Temperatures will be the thing many notice, and look at the white on the map there. 12 down south, 13. These are the highs, even further north. Still just creeping to about 22. But if you think a couple of days ago we were looking at 30s, all gone, much cooler, but also a fresher feel for many of us. The main centres, Dunedin, Christchurch, a few early showers. Wellington is otherwise fine. Hamilton and Auckland, they're probably early showers too. But then look at the temperatures from top to bottom. 22, further south, Dunedin, only 13 as you finish off. Right, let's get into the weekend. That system is gone. Then the big bubble, the area of high pressure builds in and says, ha ha, I'm here. That's fine weather. One week front just skips across the country later Sunday into Monday, but it's a much quieter spell as the high two blokes really on either side give us that settled but cooler weather into the weekend that's the weather for now